if I were to simplify what film scoring is, it's basically you're scoring this specific scene and you're like, what do I do? There are many things that you can do. But to me, I always start with one of these three, either theme, tension, release, and then transition. The three main things. Then after that, you can have the support. Support, drone, support, motor. But these are the three, like enhancing the three main ones. All right. So when you have a scene, basically there's something going on in that particular scene. And depending on what the scene needs, if it's a moment of the story where the scene is telling something that's making the story move forward. So it's bringing a new understanding, right? It's an important moment in the story. Generally, at that moment, we're going to have the theme. The theme is saying, hey, this is important. That's what I'm singing the theme, right? That's what the music is saying. Then the tension release, any dialogue or any situation, but let's think about dialogue. There's always like a question and an answer, a tension and release, or here's what creates a tension and here's what resolves. And so there's always that, and you see even like human interaction, like even if you're hanging out with friends for two hours, it's always these things like, it's something creates a question or a tension that then it gets resolved at some point. With music, it's very easy to do that. So sometimes we've got music that follows what's going on in the scene in a tension release structure, and it just works perfectly. It makes it a little bit more whatever it needs to be, right? But it basically the music following what's going on in the screen, the tension, whatever it needs, right? And I release. Hello. Hey. Um. Sometimes we need transitions. And then we need support. And there are two types of support. The support that slows down the scene and the one that speeds up the scene. This is what uh, Chris Young calls it like the, like the moving forward musical force. So like the motor, that, 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 like the pulsing synth or the, or the ostinato in the strings, something like this. And this is like the drone type of thing that adds support, but doesn't add. These generally, they can, but don't add as much as an emotional impact into the scene. It's more like support. They can, they can definitely add, but not as much. With that in mind, then it's having basically a conversation with the filmmaker because the last movie that I did is just insane. Like musically, it's just too bold. Like it's too much many times, but it's what they needed. They did a drama, but they needed a thriller. So the client wanted a thriller. The production company did a drama because you know, lack of communication. And then they send the cut and they are like, we wanted a thriller. It's like, uh, no, you, uh, Mark, you have to make this a thriller. All right, so let's go like, horror type of music. So in that case, communication with the filmmaker, what do you need? What do you want? What's required from me? But sometimes like, no, it's too much and that we need for the music to, you know, soften things. The music can do that as well. 